Hey y'all, it's Pierre Bot from Game Press, and it is Tuesday, which means it is another data mine day. And just like last week, um, it's a pretty big one this week with some really interesting information that we have found. So before we get into it, first, full disclaimer, nothing is guaranteed to come in game that we find in data mine. Uh, data mine is a couple of people that we have on the Game Press staff that go in and they look at the code. If it's in the code, there's a really good chance it could come in game, but it is not 100% guaranteed. So just big disclaimer with that. Um, anything can be scrapped. If you share this information, please share it responsibly and don't um, assume everything is going to happen that we find in the data mine. That being said, we'd first like to thank our two data miners, um, Jimbo and Cola Mountain. Um, they are a huge help to us and they're the ones that found all of this information. So let's start with some new achievements. And in these new achievements, we think we may have found the feature winner um, from that poll we had a while back. So first of all, the new achievements, we've got things like participate in raid battles against a continental creature boss, collect threshings, common tracker, novice tracker, rare tracker, epic tracker, experienced tracker, intrepid geneticist, playful predator, seeing red, specter of success, collect DNA from different tracked creatures, and collect DNA from tracked creatures. So there's several things we can interpret from this. Um, first of all, the participate in raid battles against a continental creature boss. We're thinking that means one of two things. We're either going to be getting boss um, raid bosses of the continental epic creatures, or we are going to be getting continental specific raid creatures. Um, either way, I don't think this is necessarily a bad thing because it's another way for you to work with your alliance, hopefully, and get those um, into those raids for, for DNA that maybe you otherwise may not be able to hunt for. Collecting threshings. We have no idea what threshings are. I can't even begin to speculate on what that could mean, but it sounds interesting. Now, the tracker stuff, that is what we think um, hints at the poll winner. So to go back to the poll as a refresher, there was a poll feature, a feature of in that poll called Creature Tracker, and it says, shows you where certain dinosaur is with distance and the time before it despawns. A good alternative to creature timers, however, it can only track one and more have to be unlocked. And you can see from the image, um, the, you have a little velociraptor in the creature tracker and there's some unlocked spots up to eight. Um, the first four being coins and then the next four being hard cash. And you can see on the map it shows you how far away the velociraptor is and how far, um, how long until it despawns. So we're assuming this is the feature that won the poll, which is actually pretty exciting. I think this is a pretty good one. And it can be especially helpful if you were looking for very specific creatures. Um, there are so many creatures now, it's really hard sometimes to target one or two. So having this will, I think, really help you go out and determine um, you know, what you're looking for specifically and help you find, and if you need to get to one before the other, um, if it despawns in three minutes, then you're wanna, you wanna go to get that one really quickly. So we're thinking this is the winner of that poll um, based off of the those tracker achievements that we found. So last week we did announce um, the possibility of creature levels going up to level 40. And that was a huge deal, it's a huge thing. The community is still talking about it. We found a little bit more information on that. There is something called leveling up offers in the store. Um, and it says level up discount. It's a great time to level up. Head to the roster now for a discount on required for evolution. So we're thinking that means these creature levels are going to increase, but maybe they're gonna offer some sort of discount for future levels. And we still don't know if the whole system's changing. Um, we hope it is, but we don't know. We, we still know very little about this. We're just kind of getting bits and pieces from the data mine. Um, there are some new missions. Win battles with a lizard day creature and win battles with one of the following creatures on your team. And then there's a uh, new pass details. They just announced a new pass today on the, um, specifically on the, um, for next, month but this one is the intrepid pass collects this skin from the intrepid pass so i thinking we're thinking that pass is going to be the next one after the one we have in august 
there are a ton of new moves in this data mine. I'm not going to go over all of the descriptions. I will name all of the names of them. Um, but in the last community update, update, they indicated we could have insects coming soon. And some of these moves definitely hint at that possibility. Uh, for example, there is something called stinger. So we're thinking maybe a scorpion with stingers. We're not sure. I'm going to go ahead and read the names of all of them. Um, and if you read on the screen, you can see the specific um, details of each of those moves. So we have decimating Telson. Devouring Stinger, Distracting Sidestep, Enfeebling Impact, Enfeebling Raking Impact, Enfeebling Rampage, Enfeebling Stinger, Evasive Fierce Strike, Evasive Piercing Impact, Group Necrotic Strike, Instant Decelerating Distraction, Necrotic Impact, Piercing Destruction, Poison Counter, Resilient Devastation, Shattering Antidote, Shielded Lockdown, and Slowing Wound. So um, yeah, this is all of the new moves that we found. It sounds like they're doing even more um, of mixing up specific, like we're, we're, it looks like we have an evasive fierce strike. So they're, they're mixing abilities. They're, they're changing up, um, you know, what a fierce creature can be with those evasive cunning um, options. So it should be really interesting to see what they do with this. Like I said, I think some of these might hint at some possible insects coming in the game. Um, but we will have to see. So that's everything for this week. Um, we will continue to update our Datamine channel as we find more information. Um, they usually come out every Tuesday and we post everything that we can in our Discord server. So make sure to join the, the GamePress Discord server. If it's not information that's big enough for an article, we still post it in our channel. Um, but we've just, we found a lot of information lately. So we've um, decided to do articles and videos specifically for this. So um, there's a bunch of announcements that were made on the um, uh, forum today about the next tournaments, the next Alliance Championship, and all of that fun stuff. So make sure and hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any of that information in this channel. And thanks for listening, y'all. Bye. <laughs>